state's soybean crop has fared well so far this season. 70% of Nebraska's beans are rated good or excellent, and 39% have bloomed, which is only a percent behind the five-year average. But for farmers in certain areas of the state, July brings the threat of damage from soybean aphids. The pests can be hard to spot at the size of 1 16th of an inch, and they generate quickly. In 2011, UNL researchers in Dixon County monitored a field that had almost no aphids on July 22nd, but by August 18th, they noticed the presence of over 2,000 per plant. Keith Jarby joined us earlier this week to talk about scouting, treating, and what growers might be able to expect this year. Well, right now the numbers are pretty low here in uh, northeast Nebraska, which is where we usually first detect them. Um, right now we're just seeing a few, and uh, hopefully they'll stay that way, but uh, we know that they can reproduce pretty quickly, so uh, we're going to keep a close eye on them. Remembering back to last year when it was so dry and warm, what were what were the kind of numbers that you saw then? Uh, pretty low last year. We were in the uh, mid-90s, upper 90s, and those kind of temperatures really suppress aphid numbers. So uh, we're closer to normal this year, so uh, we have probably a little bit better chance of uh, seeing aphids increase here in the next few weeks. So as you uh, advise producers to go out into the field and scout, what are some tips or recommendations that they can use? Well, uh, aphids aren't as hard to scout as some people think. Uh, they'll generally begin uh, on the upper part of the plant, but they will be on the underside of the leaves. So uh, they're fairly small, probably less than a sixteenth of an inch, but usually you'll see uh, five to ten on a colony pretty pretty easily. But you do have to turn that uh, leaf over on the top part of the plant to first detect them. After that, once they start to reproduce uh, in, in heavier numbers, they can go anywhere on the plant. What's the threshold for treatment? I mean, because you're looking at such a high number for treatment that it's, it, do you recommend counting every single one or kind of grouping it all together? Well, it's, uh, it doesn't take uh, long to learn how to do it. I tend to, when I, when I scout, I tend to look and see how, you know, what kind of, what does 10 aphids in a group or, or 20 aphids in a group look like? And when you do that, you can estimate a, a population on a plant pretty quickly. So uh, uh, I, would, I would say look for groups of 10 and 20 and just make an estimate from that. So as uh, soybeans start to enter their reproductive stage, what's the threshold that you rec recommend treatment at? Well, our, our uh, basic recommendation, if you have 250 aphids per plant and 80% of the plants have, an, uh, have at least some aphids on it and those populations are increasing, you know, that's when you uh, might want to think about uh, of treating. How long do you need to keep scouting for throughout the season? Well, we've had damaging populations go all the way up through uh, stage R5, so that can go all the way till the mid to the end of August. So, uh, uh, you know, now's the time to stay ahead of it. Uh, if they reach that threshold, fine, but uh, you, the weather can change pretty quickly and those populations can still increase all the way up through R5. So I definitely want to want to keep an eye on them until we hit full seed. Now, there are some natural enemies to the aphid. What are those and uh, what do they look like and how, they, how can they help? Well, the easiest uh, natural enemy to spot is that uh, the Asian uh, lady beetle, which is a very large uh, ladybug or ladybird beetle. Uh, we also have uh, lace wings, uh, smaller uh, flower bugs. So there's a lot of predators out there. Some of them are pretty small, but the, the easiest one to see, of course, is the uh, lady beetle. If you would have to treat and uh, you're going to do it early in the season, is there any danger that they could come back and make economically damaging levels of damage towards the end of the season? Uh, generally, in Nebraska, we get a later infestation, and we're not like Minnesota and Wisconsin mm -hmm. and Iowa, where they might be are treating already and possibly have a, a second uh, buildup. Normally, when we treat in uh, early to late August, uh, that usually is good enough, and we rarely see a buildup. Now, if, if we have guys treating, uh, you know, with a kind of a, a insurance type application in mid July, that takes out natural uh, enemies and potentially we can have a, a flare up there, but normally one treatment is enough to uh, control uh, soybean aphids in, in soybean. And finally, if you do make the decision to spray, uh, is the recommendation to spray alone or are you okay with uh, mixing it with something else in the tank, that is? Well, it's as long as, you know, if, if you think you might get a benefit, uh, potentially I, I would say with a fungicide, you can try that. Uh, we don't necessarily like uh, mixing herbicides and insecticides because the nozzles and, and the gallonage and uh, uh, that might be a little bit different. What you want to do with control soybean aphids is high gallons, uh, high pressure, and that would probably work uh, well with a fungicide, not necessarily with, uh, with a combination with a herbicide.